Ani Bojo Wachie. So today I'm going to talk about uh, two subjects. The first subject is the uh, origin of uh, the word Canada. Now the word Canada, and I will demonstrate, actually comes from, I'm going to put it right here. It says, the name Canada likely comes from the Huron Iroquois word Kanata, meaning village or settlement. In 1535, it was recorded as such, and you'll see that. So if you go to the uh, Mohawk Dictionary, the Mohawk definition right here, Kanatakon, is usually the word uh, village. And you see it again here, Kanatakon. So yeah, most likely the word Canada came from the word uh, Kanata, which is Mohawk for village. But other uh, understandings of it, and you can see that, that since that first contact later, a group of people called the Acadians, who came from Nova Scotia and then became New, New Brunswick, they uh, developed off of that. Although they had that the title Acadian before, the, the French explorers at the time reused this, you know, the same word as Kanata. And you see this in a journal and an occurrence in Mishpakot and House. And then in this journal, you, you see, and we'll just skip right down to it, where they have an interaction where the wind was blowing all day, and this is in 1797 to 1798. And there was a trade and a discussion between several Indians at the time who came before, and they were expressing desire to trade with the Englishmen. They traded some uh, for some brandy, and, and the, the Englishmen gave them some tobacco. Although, of course, they, write, they said they were poor and having some days had given their, their first to the Canadians. And that's the key word right there, Canadians. You see, even in 1797, the term Canadians was a, was a thing. This whole thing was a thing. And the reason that was a thing, and you see it much later, and that one was 1794, so 1754, when the Acadians came in in 1754, the French and Indian War began in 1754, the French Acadians, who refused to swear allegiance to Britain, were expelled from Nova Scotia in 1755. So with that being said, you see that Canada, or Canadians, was developed by a Mohawk expression of village, and later expanded to have Adians, like Canadians, to refer to the Acadians who traveled with the voyageurs at the time. And that gave birth to what we know as the Cajun people today, who traveled down as far as the Gulf of Mexico. So there's a little bit of history to you. They went down to New, New Orleans, the Cajun people, a Canadian, right? So, but it's still a derivatory of the Mohawk word, Acadian, or Akada, Akanata, as you see it now. Now, there's other things I want to talk about besides the origin of Canada. Now, the word Batchawana. <clears throat> in written history, there's just one occurrence of many. In 1844, a written account by Jesuit priests, they wrote it down, and their spelling is various. Ajawanung. Ajawanung, as recorded by Jesuit priests. Ajaw Later today, we call it Batchawana for short. History records it as turbulent waters. Yes, there's truth to this. But reality is that the ba is the only part of the turbulent waters. The rest of the word is not even discussed. Just like bawating has, means rapids. So the, yet the ba bawa is that rapids. So what is the origin of the ba and bawa? Because you know it's water and you know it's rapids. So, you know, it's not like, it is like, but not identically like nipi, which is just of water. But in this context, it's bawa. And ba wind is to, to shake water that, but in Ojibwe, it's water that is in a state of shaking, right? Because when you say wind, it's in that state of shaking. And this relates to the word powagan or powagan. The B and P is interchangeable. Please keep that in mind. Bawa, ba is that whole or the spiraling or spinning of the bowl or the context of in it, right? So it can not just be a, a literal sense. It can be in a visual, spiritual, philosophical sense. And this is what gives you words like bawaj, just like bashawana, right? Now, 
so the the ideology that I'm trying to express, and I'm going to go to Google Maps, is that this is Bachawanung. Bachawanung is this river here, and the water comes out to it, right? And this is where the turbulent waters is. But there's more to the story than that, right? Because if I say Bachawanung, and I add the Anung, I'm saying a star or a direction in which it's from, from and to. So, so you're also saying to the pipe bowl in a sense. You're saying to where the turbulent water is, is which is this would be the pipe bowl. <clears throat> this is where it is. And the shaft would be like just like a stem of the pipe would be all this water. But listen to the phrase. Bachawanung. Jawanung is the word south. So if you look at the Google Maps here in the top right, in the corner you have the uh, north. And then in the south, you have, oh, you can't see that, I guess. Eh? Let me try that again here. Yes, okay. So if you're going to the Google Maps and you see this, this is your, your stem and this is your bowl, and it points to the, from the north to the south, Ba Shawan Rawanong, it's the south, it points to the south from the southern star, southern direction, right? And it does. The, the river, Bachawana River, Zhaonang, points south, and the waters are turbulent, right? You say it forward, you understand it backwards, this is how the language works. But there's more to the story than that. So this part here would be called Obadja 1. Obadja 1 is the, the narrows. You see the narrows? That's, that's the narrows. So I'm going to stop sharing that one. I'm going to bring up that original document. So at the bottom, Abajawan. Some people say Abijawan, but add Abajawan. Water that runs straight and into narrows between a pass. And that is the subject of this other part that you find in the Abajawana area in that community. So you see like the word, and this is why they're all connected, right? This word and then uh, Whitefish Island, Bawating, Bawating. Because it's, it's an extension of that same water from, you could say, the smoke or the, the mist. You know, it's not saying fog per se, but saying that shaking of that, that energy that can carries on through, carries on through the bay. So this is your Bachua Nung, and it points to the south from here. This is the whole bay. And then you go south, and you, you continue south. And then you get down, and this is Bawating or Bauting or Pawatin, however you want to put it. And it can lead you to the south. You see how it all connects? So this river is an indication of like, like a pipe bowl, symbolically. At the same time, it's talking about the divot between here. And it also carries on to the, the narrows here, you know. So in a literal to the area sense, they're saying be cautious in this area here because this area here has turbulent waters because of that movement, right? Which will appear as a spiral, spinning water pools under toes and because of the water shifting all the time, it's shaking. And that shaking also continues on towards Bawating, Bawating, is it also is shaking the same. So in an aspect, Bachawanong is a southern doorway like the pipe bowl or the, it's emblematic to the bowl or the spirit or the mist of the dream. The dream that carries on because the dream time for Ojibwe people is not just dreams. It's another world, another reality, right? And all these things connect to each other. And there's so much history to it. And it's important you all know the history. So I hope you enjoy today's lesson. Apache miigwech.